Raising animals can be an enjoyable part of owning a small acreage, but it can be an unpleasant task managing the resulting mountain of manure. Improperly managed manure presents a potential source of pollution to local drinking water sources, such as a well. Nutrients and bacteria from manure harm fish and wildlife if they wash into streams. Manure also provides a breeding ground for flies and other pests. Bacteria, fungi, and mold from manure can cause disease such as foot and respiratory illness in your animals. Proper management includes regular collection, storage, and disposal of livestock manure. Managing manure appropriately will reduce the volume of material by up to half, reduce parasites, pests, and weeds, and save time and money. Overall, proper manure management benefits your animal's health, water quality, and the general aesthetics of your property. It is important to regularly collect manure every one to three days from turnouts, stalls, and confinement areas. This will reduce mud since manure retains moisture and can become a source of mucky organic material over time, creating an ideal breeding ground for flies, mosquitoes, and other pests. So Rachel, how often do you guys clean the stall? You want to do it at least once a week. Once a week? Yeah, we do it twice a week. So you just rake it all into a pile? And then you get the shovel and you rake the, all of it into the shovel. But we found that um, some places where the horses are in all day, they got to pick them a couple times a day to keep it from getting too broken down. Rainwater flowing through turnouts and confinement areas where manure is not collected picks up raw manure with bacteria and nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. This polluted runoff may then enter the nearest water body or your well. Once collected, you will need a place to store the manure until you are ready to dispose of it. When deciding where to locate manure storage, there are three primary considerations. Whether you will compost the manure or use it fresh, the amount of space that is needed, as well as the convenience of the location for easy accessibility. Composting the manure speeds up the natural decomposition process by creating an ideal environment for the microorganisms that break down the manure and bedding materials. Decomposition depends on many factors, including the size of the pile, the amount and type of bedding, and how well the pile is maintained. Although composting manure takes more effort than just storing it, the benefits often outweigh the extra effort. So one of the things we've been working on is, uh, is the whole issue of manure management. The, these units are made out of, out of pallets. We have chicken wire on the inside of them. And uh, basically we have a, a, essentially a, a fence split in half, which we use to break up the manure as it comes in. Uh, we basically uh, put them together and, and to screw them together so that they come apart really easily. So when we want to actually remove the manure after it's composted, we can actually take it apart and people can pick it up or we can use it on our own gardens. Creating an ideal environment in your compost pile requires adequate moisture, oxygen, and a 25 to 1 ratio of carbon to nitrogen in the composting materials. We had this building built with money from, from NRCS and the uh, Conservation District money. It was built as a dry stack building, but then we thought as long as we have this great big building, let's actually do some composting of the manure. So we built the three bins along here. Depends on what, how many horses we have if we're using all three bins. Right now we're just using two. We Bedding materials such as straw, shavings, and sawdust are high in carbon. If your barn or stall waste has a lot of bedding and very little manure, the carbon to nitrogen ratio will be too high and the compost pile will take more time to break down. You may need to add some green materials rich in nitrogen, such as grass clippings or coffee grounds. Be sure to mix all materials together well so they are evenly distributed. The proper carbon to nitrogen ratio will ensure the microorganisms decompose the manure and other materials into a valuable resource. And do you like the pellets because they break down faster in the compost, or? I like them for two reasons, because it's like cleaning a cat litter box. It's really easy to clean because they're small particles, and then because they're small particles, they do break down and even out nicely in the composting process. Covering the compost pile keeps it from getting too damp in the winter and dried out in the summer. 
Also, runoff from uncovered manure may pollute nearby water sources. With all of the rain we receive in Clark County, it becomes doubly important to cover a compost pile since saturation can kill the microorganisms in the pile and halt the composting process. Water may need to be added in the summertime. A rule of thumb is to keep the pile as damp as a wet, wrung out sponge. I have also tried different aeration schemes. I've used uh, perforated pipe that I've embedded in the units that allow airflow in, where the pallets uh, allow a lot of airflow up through the manure and basically compost it as quickly as it can be. So I just used the front end loader and I mix this all up so that it gets some air down into the, the base of the pile. The microorganisms also require oxygen to break down the materials efficiently. Turning the pile, either by hand or with a tractor, adds air. You can also place perforated PVC pipes in the middle of the pile. The pipe should have holes every six inches along the length of the pipe. This will help get air into the pile since the pipe acts like a chimney. Maintaining moisture and oxygen will help the pile heat up to kill parasites, pathogens, and many weed seeds. To get more tips, ideas, and suggestions for managing manure and your small acreage property, contact the Small Acreage Program at 360-397-6060, extension 7720. The Small Acreage Program is a partnership between Washington State University, Clark County Extension, and the Clark County Clean Water Program.